Hello everyone. So I want to tell you what happened last night. I got into the hotel room close to midnight and I fired up my ICOM IC7610 via remote software, the RSBA1, and this is what I heard. This is what I'm experiencing. Radio frequency interference. Okay, that pulsating noise, electrical noise. And look here on the left, my noise blanker is turned off, noise reduction. I have an overload here, some sort of strong signal. The preamp is turned off, attenuation is off. And we're currently on 40 meters, so that's the band on 40. I'm going to turn on the audio so you can hear all the other bands as well. Hundred and sixty meters. Eighty meters. Thirty meters. Twenty meters, seventeen meters, fifteen meters, twelve meters. 10 meters, 6 meters. That is so frustrating to experience this when you're operating remote control. And I'm not there at the control point to adjust the, the filtering, the, the, um, the noise reduction, the noise blanker. I'm going to show you how effective this ICOM IC7610 combats RFI. Stay tuned. We're on 40 meters. That signal is strong. Look at this. This is S9 plus 20 noise. Uh, I have a QRM millimeter already attached to my radio and I set it to neutral. 5 and 5. Level 5 and phase to 5 and the uh, RF gain to full. So let me combat this. All right, we got noise blanker here. What is noise blanker? Noise blanker eliminates pulse type interference. Okay, so think of it like you're alternating your car, that little buzzing sound, and listen to the noise. You hear it, that noise. All right, so we're gonna enable noise blanker. Okay, noise blanker is on. And for me to control the noise blanker, I would have to bring this operating panel, NB. Okay, bring that down here. And I also like to look at noise reduction, and R. All right, so you have to adjust the level, the depth, and the width to eliminate that noise. So what are levels? Level is the attenuation level. Okay, so you adjust that to low to maximum. So you have to play with all three of them. The blanking depth, that's this. All right, we also had the width the blanking width. So you have to play with all of them. So I want to start with a level down low. And you hear the noise, you hear it? 
and then adjust the width to where it just vanishes now we don't have the noise anymore okay now all this here this yellow on the waterfall that's just your reference level you can turn that down to the minus and you can also adjust the RF gain here's the RF gain you want to adjust that to where it just barely moves the S1 to S2 units so now we have RF gain I'll turn up the volume so you can hear it turning turning down the RF gain you see it right there about an S1 and then if it's a little too dark on the waterfall you can adjust the reference level okay so there right now we're on 40 meters and apparently it's, it's not active right now now if it's if it's starting to sound distorted um, it might not be the pulsating noise any that kind of interference so that's uh, 40 meters let's go check a look at 20 meters all right 20 meters RF gain is wide open all right noise blanker is on there's a station right here I'm going to adjust the level. No problem. It's now, turn on the noise reduction. You can adjust the level here. If it sounds distorted, just reduce some of that width and depth on the noise blanker. Just like that. And I'm going to bring down the reference level. November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo, remote. Hey, good copy. Uh, you're five nine. The station is located in Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm physically located in El Paso, Texas. Seventy threes. This is Captain Darren, November four, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. Thank you. Okay, so that is how I use my noise blanker for the pulsating type noise. Dem let me demonstrate it again. Noise blanker is off. Noise blanker is on. Wow, you guys hear that? Goodness gracious. That's really strong. I'm going to adjust the width. That's a different sound there. Combine it with the noise reduction. Yeah, this is this is terrible. K3ZED, Mr. Jim, this is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo, operating remote control. November 4, Victor, Romeo, Foxtrot, was that correct? Uh, negative, uh, you got my suffix uh, backwards. Uh, my call, November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo. VFR, visual flight rules, over. QSL, QSL, you're coming in about an S1 right now, S1. But uh, you sound good remotely. I'm uh, 40 miles west of Philadelphia. 
Just uh, working off of a TS-2000 and trying it out to see how it works. QSL? A QSL, uh, my location, uh, the radio station is actually located in Jacksonville, Florida, and I am physically located in El Paso. Uh, your signal is a, um, a sounds like a five by five, fifty five. Uh, go ahead, Jim. I got the uh, noise reduction on. Okay, QSL, Jim. Yeah, you have a nice sounding radio with that. Uh, you, I think you said the uh, FT2000 uh, Yesu. Well, I'm using the uh, ICOM IC7610 and using the ICOM remote software. They call it the RSBA1 and um, operating via the internet. So, uh, very good, Jim. Thank you for calling CQ. And um, take a look at my QRZ page when you get a chance. I'll say 73 with you. Have a great the rest of your day. Kilo 3 Zulu Echo Delta. This is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. Captain Darren's the name. Over. He's fading. Alright, good day, Jim. N4 VFR. I'm clear. Wow. Now do you uh, feel my frustrations on trying to uh, operate uh, HF remote? It can be done. You just got to tweak out the RFI and some of that atmospheric noise with the noise reduction. But it does work with the ICOM 7610, even operating remote, remotely from the hotel room. This morning, I decided to make a phone call to the uh, electric utility in my, my city of Atlantic Beach and I submitted a trouble call and hopefully within a day or two they're going to be um, either calling me on the phone and then I can explain the interference but uh, it's very strong to my location so hopefully they can find it use some sort of sniffer to find that RFI and eliminate it thank you for watching my videos guys my name is Captain Darren my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR if you enjoyed my video, please consider to subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Till next time, have a great day and stay safe. 73s.